Hello student, in previous lecture we saw the different types of constituents of our foods uh, such as carbohydrates, uh, starch, fibers, sugars, etc. Uh, in today's lesson or today's part, we are going to see saw uh, another uh, substance that is fats. The source of a fats is mainly oil. Mainly oil. From oil. Uh, we get the fats uh, for our body. The fats in our body, uh, it is uh, another uh, source of energy. Uh, our body can use uh, this source when uh, the other uh, uh, foods are not available. So, the fats uh, is uh, stored by our body under the skin. Uh, it is, it has a very much energy uh, more than uh, carbohydrates and other substances. And we get the, these fats or fatty oils from uh, different uh, foodstuffs such as cream, butter, ghee, oil, uh, etc and nut, meats, egg uh, and yolk also contains this type of fats. It is stored under, our, under the skin and the, the body uses uh, these uh, stored fats uh, from uh, time to time. So here are the pictures of a different uh, fatty substance that is uh, different types of cheese, different types of uh, uh, oils, badam and groundnuts. These are, these are uh, cont uh, majorly contains the fats or it provides us uh, uh, fats in a major quantity. Uh, Such the carbohydrate, uh, cardboard, thermocol, or bubble wrap protect uh, the fragile articles uh, even when the box uh, boxes shakes uh, and uh, uh, fall or uh, get heat. The articles inside are not damaged due to uh, the covering uh, from cardboard and thermocol. Such a layer, in similarly, such a layer of uh, fats in our body protects the internal organ, uh, it uh, does not uh, causes for the injury from outside uh, and our body uh, uh, protected by such fats. Uh, similarly, uh, like a fats, we uh, our body also need, needed proteins okay the proteins also uh, one type of uh, a source of energy for our body uh, such as so these uh, proteins uh, also provide uh, energy uh, so we look uh, at this uh, another point of this lesson that is the protein uh, just as a stone and bricks are building blocks needed for a wall, proteins are the building blocks of our body. Uh, the body undergoes wear and tear continuously. Sometimes it gets injured, but the healing and repair of our body goes on all the times. 
without uh, uh, our being aware of it proteins are necessary for that purpose proteins are required in the plenty uh, during the growing year of the person's life means uh, from the childhood to the young uh, to become a young uh, we needed of uh, proteins in uh, ample of quantity so here are some pictures which are a major source of proteins uh, through which our body gets so there are uh, elaichi badam and all uh, other uh, food stuff that is uh, masalas and green peas jawar da uh, chana uh, fish milk chicken uh, groundnut cheese curd are the major sources from which we get proteins okay uh, all there are all the different types of dals pulses groundnut milk and milk product like yogurt khoya paneer uh, khoya means khawa uh, from which we mix a uh, pedas eggs meat and fish are the rich source of proteins to get the required pro- proteins our daily diet should includes dal pulses as well as milk and milk product so uh, our diet should be balanced with the uh, with the carbohydrates proteins fibers uh, all the food stuffs we must include in our day to day lunch or meal uh, lunch or dinner okay uh, our body requires carbohydrates fats proteins in a large proportion these foods constituents are called micro nutrients so uh, all the uh, carbohydrates fats and proteins from which we get the energy these uh, carbohydrates fats and proteins are called as a micronutrients uh, which are gets from the balanced diet uh, for our body uh, next point is vitamins and minerals uh, in addition to the micronutrients micronutrients we get a certain food constituents in a very small quantity these micronutrients are vitamins and minerals so uh, after this uh, micronutrients such as carbohydrates fats proteins we also need uh, vitamins and minerals okay uh, vitamins we have a uh, different types of uh, vitamins which refers through the alphabet of um, such as a b c d e and k uh, these are the most important vitamins uh, which our body requires uh, although we need vitamins in a very small quantity but a lack or a deficiency of any vitamins result in a serious disorder for example if the uh, a deficiency of a vitamin a over a long period results in a night blindness uh, a deficiency of vitamin d results in a weak and brittle bones vitamins gives us the ability to resist di- different diseases minerals like vitamins minerals such as iron calcium sodium potassium um, also uh, essential for our body Uh, they are needed in a very small quantity but it is very essential uh, for our body due to it uh, it plays um, all the necessary functions of the body such as iron uh, is a necessary for co- carrying oxygen to the different parts or organs of uh, of our body in a very large in a very uh, large amount so the main source uh, are the vegetables uh, and fruits 
from which we gets uh, minerals uh, and vitamins uh, such as uh, from the uh, sprouted green grams uh, so in uh, we must include uh, leafy vegetables uh, fruit vegetables and fruits in our daily diet okay such minerals such minerals and vitamins uh, is a uh, one type of uh, micronutrients which is uh, needed by our body so students uh, pro like uh, proteins uh, vitamins and minerals uh, we must include in our day to day uh, life or food uh, as a food stuff uh, any deficiency of uh, vitamins proteins carbohydrates uh, fats proteins uh, fibers uh, if we not include in our diet uh, it causes for the deficiency of our body and it also leads to a serious uh, diseases um, by which uh, our body weaken uh, so we must include all type of food stuffs in our uh, daily diet okay so student uh, there is a homework uh, on these points from points uh, uh, such as uh, carbohydrates carbohydrates uh, starch sugar fiber uh, uh, fats such as uh, protein vitamins uh, also uh, vitamins and minerals uh, there is a homework for you to uh, make um, uh, questions that is answer in one sentence on this uh, uh, on this uh, syllabus of this uh, lessons such points from uh, carbohydrates carbohydrates uh, up to the minerals uh, you have to make uh, some questions uh, that is up to minimum uh, 15 to 20 questions uh, answer in one sentence on this part of the lessons okay uh, so uh, thank you students for uh, hearing these uh, uh, parts you must read the lesson uh, with the using of the pe pencil and make uh, questions on uh, another uh, rough book or uh, in a, a homework book uh, so you will understand uh, thoroughly this part of the lessons okay thank you